Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how you can save MySQL data to your Google Sheets automatically. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. So My, MySQL is a database management software and Google Sheets as we all know is a spreadsheet program. So the idea here is that whenever you add a new data to your MySQL database table, automatically the same data should be added as a new record to your Google Sheets so that you can create and backup for your uh, future purposes. For this we need to create a connection between MySQL and Google Sheets. So in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating MySQL with Google Sheets automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. By creating an account in Pabli Connect, you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as MySQL to Google Sheets integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to save MySQL data to our Google Sheets for the backup reasons. So open this trigger window, choose the application name as MySQL, select the trigger event as new row in a table, click on connect, click on add new connection, now it is asking for the database username, database password, host and the database as well as the port. So you have to enter your login details over here. So I have entered my username and password over here. For the host, I will take you to my MySQL account. And here we can find the host. So I will just copy this host from here and I will paste the same host over here. Now the database is required. For the database, you can see that the database name is dbuilder in my case. So I am just going to enter the same over here as dbuilder. And now the port is required. So the port is 3306. You can see the port over here. 3306. So you have to enter your port over here in Pabli Connect 3306 and let's click on save. And now my SQL account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select a table name. So I'll take you to my MySQL account where I have already created a table name customer data. So I will be selecting the same table name over here that is customer data. So as we have created a connection, we can find all the table names over here. So I'll be selecting my table name. Now here we have to select the unique column. Select unique primary key column so we can fetch the new updated records properly. Usually you need to select your unique column ID over here. So you can see that I have selected the column ID over here. Okay. And here we can see an important instruction. This MySQL trigger will check for updated rows in every one hour. So as this is a polling based, it will be capturing the responses in every one hour. So I will be just capturing the response over here which I have recently created. So let's click on save and send test request. So the latest response will be captured over here and here we can find the details name as Adam Smith, email address, mobile number, status as page and here we can find the unique column value. So I will show you the same uh, data over here and here we can find the data as Adam Smith, his email address, mobile number and the status as page. So now we want that using these details automatically a new record should get created into your Google Sheet. 
For that, come to this action step. Select the application name as Google Sheets. Select the action event as Add New Row. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection and click on Connect with Google Sheets. Now it is asking me to choose an account. So I'll just choose my account where I have already created my Google Sheet. Pavli Connect Sheets wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on Continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pavli Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Sheets are connected to Pavli Connect. So as we have created a connection, here we can find all the spreadsheets that we have created in our Google Sheet account. So the spreadsheet which I have already created is MySQL database where I have taken the fields for the name, email address, mobile number and the status. And the sheet name is backup. So I will be selecting the same spreadsheet name and the sheet name over here in Public Connect. So the spreadsheet name is MySQL database. And the sheet name is automatically captured just because I have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet. If you have created multiple sheets from the drop down you can select your sheet name. Now here we have to just give the values for the name, email address and the mobile number. So we have already got all these details from the MySQL database trigger. So we will be mapping these details now. So let's scroll down. Let us map the name over here. Come to MySQL and map the name. In the same way, let us map the email address also. Here we will be mapping the mobile number. And at last we will be mapping the status. Status as paid. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received. It means the details are added to your Google Sheet. Let's check it. And here we can find the name as Adam Smith, his email address, his mobile number and the status as paid. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So next time whenever you are going to add the data to your MySQL database table, automatically the details will be added to your Google Sheets over here. So we will not be able to check this in the real time just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it captured the responses in every one hour. Okay. So we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between MySQL and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the data that you have created into a MySQL database table. Then using those details automatically a new record was added to your Google Sheet. And in this way we have created a successful integration between MySQL and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.